Hello, my name is Donald Mason. Welcome to my channel. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then please do so. You can do so at any time during the video. There's a small red icon at the bottom right hand corner. Just click on that. You don't even need to stop the video. By the way, today is my birthday. So if you subscribe, that would be a good birthday present. Thank you in advance. Having said that, let's get down to today's lesson. On the internet, somebody asked the question, is it worth it to buy or sell book? Well, after studying the concept for more than 10 years, I think I can answer that question. My answer is yes, it's worth it. But that answer is valid for me. It might not be valid for you. I don't want to waste time explaining why in this video. So I advise you to go to this video on the screen, The Impact of the Lydian Chromatic Concept Revisited. There you will find all the evidence you need. To answer the question of whether it's worth it or not, it all depends on your aim, your musical aim. It depends on what you want to learn. Maybe your aim is like Miles Davis's. Maybe you would like to learn more about how to improvise over fast changing and complicated chords. Maybe you are looking for a simple way to relate to chords, no matter how complicated they are. Or maybe your aim is to improve as a composer. Maybe your aim is to learn about how gravity affects sound. Maybe you would like to know the difference between horizontal tonal gravity and vertical tonal gravity. In any case, you will never know if it's worth it until you read the book. Or perhaps you might want to read the book only out of curiosity. If Einstein had been alive, he would have read the book. Einstein was an authority on the topic of gravity. He discovered the relationship between light and gravity. The Lydian chromatic concept is about the relationship between sound and gravity. He would have read the book just to see what it says about gravity and sound. And I think he would have read the book out of simple curiosity. Another reason why Einstein would have read the book is that he was a very good musician. And he would have understood the theory because he was used to working and thinking about how gravity affects things. Another reason why Einstein would have read the book is that he was a lifelong learner. By the way, many students are surprised when I mention Einstein and when I talk about his musical life because many musicians um, don't even know that Einstein was a musician. They didn't even know that Einstein played in a band. So go ahead and get a copy of the book. It's not easy to find, but if you shop around the internet, I'm sure you'll find a copy. The only problem is that it's very expensive. You will find it for between $125 up to $500. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.